Well, hey, 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 guys, and what is going on? I am Bleaker, and we here, we here, why the hell am I saying we? And I have a little bit of a special little episode here for you. Um, we'll probably elaborate more on that, or you'll realize why I'm elaborating on that in um, the next couple of days. But um, first off, welcome. This is a very special episode for me here today, and... Um, we are playing Factorio. Actually, we're showcasing Factorio today. Um, I have been working pretty tirelessly. Um, I've This is my first real run through the game, and I have been working yeah, relatively tirelessly to actually construct my very own factory. Now, what's kind of cool about this game is, in real life, I'm a cross between a controls engineer and an industrial engineer. If For those of you who don't know what that is, don't worry. That will be elaborated on in the coming days. But basically, I am an engineer. And it, I got my degree and I got everything. But today, I figured I would kind of show you what I've been doing in Factorio. There we go, frame rate. Frame rate, you can do it. Ah, there we go. Ah, there we go. Okay. So right here, I got a, got a pretty cool little stone deposit going here for us. Got our little stone deposit here. And, um, yeah. So, when me and my friend, we started this game, we ran a stone deposit all the way from here. And we ran it over to here where it mixes in with, um, you'll see iron right there, some copper. But, uh, the copper line is all the way over... Come on. Up in this corner. We just got this iron mine we're currently tapping. Actually gotten a good chunk of that iron. I do, I prefer to play this game with like extra dents or feels so that way I can have structures and, and stuff in place for a very long period of time. Like in this one, look at this. I still have, oh, look at this. It was a, this is kind of cool. I looked this up. It's a three to one splitter. So you take in three, you get one out. Splitters are actually kind of cool. Um, I feel like I'm starting to get a base knowledge of them. Oh, look at that. Look at all that coal we still have left to tap out of here. But I feel like I'm beginning to get a base knowledge of splitters. Um, here we got my power. This thing, this freaking factory of mine, is requiring metric shit tons of power. I have 30 steam engines powering this bad boy. I mean, this thing, it's not a coalaholic, but damn. So kind of get into the cool stuff here. Um, what we got going on here is, you know, we got our four main res we got our four main resources, you know, coal or coal, copper, iron and stone. And I made this really big oversized smelting facility cuz I prefer in the real world, you build it once and you really don't want to have to come back to it again. So I've left plenty of room for expansion on this. Like this bad boy is just completely filled and I haven't even finished upgrading all of the furnaces yet to steel furnaces instead of the stone. So we've got iron here. We've got iron producing in two places actually. We have iron here which is feeding our steel and then we got iron here which just feeds our iron. We got copper here and we got uh, stone bricks being made. So then is this? that's the stone furnaces. Stone furnaces producing that. Um, water. We'll uh, show you that. I'll explain more on that in a second. I got three oil refineries going, pumping out, you know, storage tanks for petroleum, light oil, heavy oils. It's this. This is actually pretty cool. I was actually very proud of how I set that all up. If we follow the great bleaker pipeline up here, you can actually see we got a fair amount of oil being produced. You know, look at this. It requires a, quite a bit of oil to actually satisfy um, my current needs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, when I'm in full production mode, these eight um, rigs, these eight pipe jacks, just constant, full, full blow. And let's see here. We're always producing. Pretty sure we're producing. Oh, looks like we've stopped. We stopped because uh, heavy oil's reached its maximum limit. Uh, is petroleum still producing? No. 
So everything's kind of stopped production here because I'm not using our um, heavy oils or our um, light oils. So what I may end up doing is just, I don't honestly know what I'm going to do about that. But we'll kind of play that one by, I'm going to end up playing that one by ear. I might actually have to look up a solution to that because that kind of worries me. If it's not going to produce, yeah, that worries me a little bit. If it's not going to produce, you know, eh, I may end up having to just add on another tank or something. Actually, I have a tank here. I'll just throw it on here for the old SNGs. Yeah, look at that. Filling right up. See, that kicked off production again. Now we're going to get back to fun. Ugh, I just can't win. I'll, I'll get around to fixing that at some point. So, you may notice I have this right here. That's another line of iron. I'm actually drawing only from this line, which is right here. This thing... Oh, look. Mined up another one. Nice. But this is my factory thus far. So I went with kind of a weird design on these. I got my bus. I've been looking up um, how people, other people do Factorio for as a reference. And the bus is just like a universally popular theme to do. I kind of set mine up wrong. But I'll come back and fix my bus at some point sooner or later. So what I kind of got here is I got my gear factory. And I got, you know, like basic resources being produced. You know, pipes. I got inserters being produced and stored. I got, um, oh, those are my filter inserters. I got, you know, transport belt being produced. Why don't I, I'm going to need a, oh, two more of those. So you can actually see my factory just like kick to life here. So basically these gears are producing for the entire facility or for this entire portion of the facility. I'll get over to that stuff later. So. You got your copper here, so this is making circuit boards. And then I have an actual mass circuit board production here, which is used to feed my circuit board bus along with I'm making you know, fast belts here. Um, underground belt, that's pretty sweet. Some more splitters, so I have like my splitter storage here. This is kind of the best way that I could figure out to, you know, get me a good backup on these kinds of things so let's kick these into gear here kind of show you what's all going on here i just love this you take from anything and immediately factories back to life uh, it really is a freaking cool setup and so i decided to bust these down here because at some point i'm going to at some point i'm actually going to turn the use these to upgrade them into you know your for those of you who aren't familiar inserters you use to put things for those of you who aren't familiar, you're using inserters to put um, ingredients into assembling machines. Like, see, there you go. Those are fast inserters. I'm I'm making the uh, standard inserters, you know, just your normal, everyday, average inserter. See, inserters. And I can make long-handed inserters, which I used on my bus, which I'm using... Uh, am I using them anywhere uh, obvious? These are cool. Filter inserters, I can actually tell them to filter out certain things. Here we go. This design is what I've determined is probably going to be the best for me in terms of smelting, but here. So I'm able to shove two lines worth of transport belt, or two transport belts worth of iron down here to feed this mammoth machine. I've seen it where people will do it off to the side. Yeah, that'll work, where they'll split it between the two. I don't like that very much, and I don't really have... I've tried it, where they'll mix their iron and their coal and I do not like that. I have tried it. You can't fill near enough machines uh, fast enough. So I've usually stuck with this. And then my um, cop and then my coal I'm going to feed down here at some point in the late future. I actually did at one point, but then my game, did game didn't save and I actually lost a lot of progress. Like I had this facility almost ready to start producing blue science, which we use to research stuff. So I'm going to quick just research that because this also uses up a lot of resources. So I'm trying to research everything fast. So we got these chemi my chemical plants here, and we're just, you know, I've got them producing probably a bit more. What the hell do I have here? There it is, sulfur than actually is needed. Oh well. You know, I've got my sulfuric acid here, which only takes water and 
phosphorus and iron. It's kind of weird how that works. And then I use this to produce batteries. So I've actually got battery production kicking off here. But I think the next factory I'm going to do, I'm going to do something of a bit more of a modular design. Like, I think I'll have, like, circuits. You see, they're used quite frequently, so I might bust these down a bit sooner in my factory. And then I'm going to do something like a, a little bit of a modular design. Or, no, 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 not a modular design. I'm going to produce a lot less things locally. You see how I've got, like... These are here to produce for the bus and for this. These gears are aren't producing for multiple things. Aren't producing for like the entirety of my factory. They're producing for you know this portion of the factory. I think I'm gonna do a lot less local production on my next one. I haven't really gotten that far yet, but my next factory. I don't know what I'm gonna do for that, but I'm actually kind of excited. So I'm actually was very excited to showcase this factory to you guys, and this is kind of been my pride and joy for the better part of. Uh, I'd say six or seven hours I've shoved into this. Look at everything just going over here. It's so much fun. I'm addicted to this game. If only my frame rates could handle it, though. That's the that's the only downside of this game. My frame rates can't seem to handle it. But, um, yeah, guys, it's been a pleasure to bring you my factory. Um, I don't know. I might do something with this later. Showcase again later down the line. But, um, thank you guys for watching. As always, be sure to, uh, you know, like, subscribe, comment, that sort of deal. Um, I'm going to be really trying my hardest to get back on a regular recording schedule here. Um, I actually have to record my vlog after this, too. My weekly update vlog. Oh, that's my cue, guys. I got to get rolling. This has been Bleaker. Be seeing ya.